Hey guys, this is Fimray91, and I'm finally bringing The Walking Dead, the final season review. Now, this review will be broken down into four different aspects. Gameplay, story, choices, and overall enjoyment. Was this game great? Was it bad? Was it somewhere in between? Let's find out. Let's start with gameplay. Now, gameplay has never been a big thing in The Walking Dead. Let's face it, it's kind of just been the side thing to the story. But they did have some aspects of gameplay that actually brought it up from previous games, such as the run mechanic. This is a mechanic I would have actually liked in earlier games more so because in the final season, even though it is good to have a run mechanic, most of the areas are so confined that the run mechanic doesn't do much. In season one and season two, I think there were more open areas that you could run around, but you didn't have a run mechanic. So I think it would have been worked better if they actually brought this in sooner, but it's still a nice addition to have. I also like that they brought back the whole ability to actually aim and shoot. Now, what do I mean? In season one, when you went into like guns and whatnot, you got to actually aim and shoot. So you actually had to have some skill. But when you went into season two, it was just put the cursor in the circle and then fire. And it just really didn't work out that well. I was glad to see in the final season that they actually brought it back to where you actually have some skill where you have to aim and actually shoot the walkers instead of just having to put cursor in circle and press fire button. It really adds some fun and enjoyment to the actual gameplay aspect of the game. But from a gameplay perspective, the lack of side missions and puzzles in this game is apparent. Side missions and puzzles used to actually add enjoyment to the game. If you wanted to skip them, you could. If you didn't want to, then they actually sometimes made a little difference. Even if like just slamming the door on the walker so that you could get the animal crackers for duck, it was something else to do and it was nice. The collectibles unfortunately do not replace this for me. So gameplay wise, most of the additions were good, but the collectibles, instead of doing like like side missions or even some of the game's puzzles? No. So with gameplay, I gotta give it a 9 out of 10. It made some pretty good improvements, but the collectibles just didn't do it for me. But let's move on to story. Well, did this game overall have a good, compelling story? Not really. I'm sorry. It wasn't bad story but it wasn't a real good compelling one. Why? Because I feel as though they had so much starting points but they just couldn't finish. Such as Delta is alluded to from episode one, but at the same time, you never actually see the Delta. You only see like eight members, I believe, of the Delta on board a ship, and it's just a letdown because I feel like had we gone to Delta, it would have been kind of like Carver and House, which is one of the most enjoyable parts of season two for me. You could argue that, well, if we went to the Delta, captured like we did in season two and in a new frontier it would have been a copycat not if they did it differently enough if a delta was at war i believe this would have been really different than both house and a new frontier because they've never had where you've been prisoners while there was a war going on i really think that would have added a different aspect to it but sadly it wasn't followed through just like with lily when lily was brought back but she wasn't actually in that many scenes and it's sad to bring back such a strong character and hardly use her but I did enjoy the aspect of Clementine actually ending up with a group of kids. As you guys recall from my top five biggest mistakes video, I really wasn't into season two how Clementine was a kid ordering adults around basically. It makes more sense in this setting where Clementine's with people around her age, some younger than her, some older, and it was just cool because it made more sense for Clem in this situation to be with a group of people her own age as opposed to with a group of adults. It didn't make the whole her being kind of in charge fake it made it seem more real that they would be listening to someone who spent most of their time on the outside and would be very knowledgeable about survival so that aspect of it was done quite well but as i pointed out the story overall uh, kind of a letdown mainly because they had things they started that they couldn't finish as i pointed out with the delta and they kind of also just rushed through the story a bit it seems like they were just trying to get through it as fast as they possibly could not to say the episodes themselves were short but at the same time it didn't feel like it had the extras it just moved from one problem to the next it seems like and it kept going it wasn't like season one it also didn't have the best pacing Season one and even season two had pretty good pacing where you didn't feel like you were just being bombarded from one problem to the next. You actually would have these moments where the characters would be like, okay, let's just settle down. Let's do this. Let's do that. Not where everything is just, oh, now we have this problem. Okay, now we have this problem. No. So the story itself, even though it wasn't bad, it wasn't good. So I got to give the story a six out of 10. They had so many good ideas, I think, but they just couldn't ha see them through to fruition. And I'm sure some of this had to do with the lack of budget, and maybe less time, obviously, given what happened with Telltale Games. But based just on what we have, 
This feels like a story that could have been something, but it never quite reached there. Okay, choices. Well, let's face it, Walking Dead is basically about choices. What's the game say? Like, choice matters and whatnot? So, do these choices really matter? Well, no, I'm sorry. The only thing I could even say that mattered really was Lou and Vi. Those are the only two characters I think that were handled well, choice regard. The choices you make regarding Lou and Vi, especially the big ones, actually affects them. Vi can go partly blind. Lou can lose his tongue and have no more lines for, for two episodes. Or he can not lose his tongue and be Lou and keep talking. So I really liked with Lou and Vi. Everybody else, no. Choices, whatever. Who cares? Even with James and Lily, if you have Lily live, she just, she just goes. If you have James live, you have a little extra scene where James becomes completely weird, but that's about it. So, other than Lou and Vi, I'm gonna say that the game was pretty weak on choices actually mattering, or illusion as if they actually mattered, because even with all those endings, it still didn't seem like most of the choices really mattered. Even with AJ, the big, your choices will affect him, at the end, all you really do is get a list of things on how your choices affect him. No, no, no. And then you get to play with him at the end, which was kind of the mistake in season two. How can your choices affect AJ if you're gonna be playing with him? Cause then you can completely ignore the choices you made and have AJ just be whatever you want. So to me, they messed this up on choices. Lou and Vi, we're done, okay. That's it. Everybody else, even AJ, choices really didn't matter. So with choices, I gotta give this game a 5 out of 10. Okay, overall enjoyment of this game. Did I enjoy this game? Yes, I actually did. It was better than Season 2 in A New Frontier, I think, when you take it as a whole. But as I pointed out, they seem to have good ideas that just never came to fruition. They brought back Lily and hardly used her. They had so much opportunities here that they just kind of squandered. And... It just overall didn't feel like your choices really mattered other than with Lou and Vi. And the collectibles just didn't do it for me. So overall enjoyment of this game, I'll still give it a 6 out of 10. I enjoyed some of the features they brought back like being able to actually have some skill when taking down the walkers. And it was overall an okay story. It wasn't anything to brag home about, but it was okay. So 6 out of 10. Alright, now for the overall review. We have to combine the scores. I gave 9 out of 10 for gameplay, I gave 6 out of 10 for story, 5 out of 10 for choices, and I gave another 6 out of 10 for overall enjoyment. So when you add those up, you come out to 6.5 out of 10. That is the overall review. This game gets a 6.5. It wasn't nothing to brag home about, but it was still better than Season 2 in A New Frontier in my opinion. So there's my review of the overall game. What do you guys think about this game? What score would you give the game as a whole? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.